What up fellow nerds, Martina here, and today I'm making a faux stained glass window that you can hang on your wall. Most of my projects start by making some sketches, and here I just try to figure out how to make the project, and with what materials, and what kind of a motive I want. The first, or the outer layer, will be a black angled frame, followed by some opaque acrylic glass, a cold white LED strip, and a piece of MDF. This one's gonna be a bit of trial and error, as I tried to make a project only using components I already had in my workshop. Before making the actual faux glass, I had to make a test piece to figure out what works or not. I just used some scrap acrylic glass, because I want to test what works best, acrylic paint or watercolor, with or without plastic primer, and finally, sanded or unsanded surface. I sanded down half of the test piece, and before priming two-fourths of that, I rubbed off any grease on the surface with rubbing alcohol. Now I'd got a piece with four different surface treatments, I'll show you each one in a second. In order to make a pattern, or the image itself, on the surface of the acrylic glass, I'm gonna use black hot glue to mark all the lines. I might as well use that in the test piece to see how it works. Each section of the different surface treatments will be tested with both acrylic paint in all the left rows, and watercolors in all the right rows. Hopefully it's more clear now with the text marking each section. I decided to check five different colors and when that was dry, I clear coated it with clear spray paint. While the spray was curing, I could prepare some of my other main pieces. The most important thing was of course to draw the actual motive. I've always loved drawing, so I made it myself, but there are lots of cool stained glass art out there that you can use if you're not much of a drawer. For this piece I was inspired by the classic gothic church windows, and I tried to resemble them as much as possible. I was happy with the shape and how it turned out, so I carried on to cut out the acrylic glass. I made a stencil that was about 2cm wider than the drawing that I could use to draw the correct shape onto the acrylic. The acrylic I used was opaque white, because I didn't want to be able to see the inside of the frame. When cutting pieces that aren't straight, I always use my scroll saw, as it's nice and easy to handle, and it cuts all the shapes I want. It doesn't really matter how rough the edges are here, as they'll be covered up, but I just remove the roughest edges around it. Okay, cool, the drawing's finished and the acrylic is cut. Let's get back to the test piece I made earlier, because the clear coat should be properly cured now. After scratching the surfaces of all the test squares and looking at the color effects, I decided to go with a sanded surface without primer, as this didn't get any scratches, and the acrylic paint because the watercolor didn't look too good in general. That means the next step is to sand down the surface of my opaque acrylic, working with super glue to be honest, as I think it usually gets messy, just like here, where it left a lot of residue around the edges which I ended up sanding away with sandpaper. It's a handy glue though, as it's cheap and it usually works well on most small-scale projects. The sanding left the surface smooth again, and I could just paint over it with some black acrylic paint. I'm keeping the electronics simple this time. The only soldering I did was a cable from the power input to the cold white LED strip. I think cold white will look better as it resembles daylight more, and it won't alter the colors of the paint. When I had soldered the wires to the plug and fastened it, I soldered that to the LED strip and used the adhesive that was already on the LED strip to attach it to the black frame. I just had to drill a hole in the MDF so I could hang it on the wall later. As in the sketches, I could have made it stand on the table, which would have looked cool too. Finally, all that was left was to glue the MDF to the frame, and I used quick epoxy for that. I barely got the MDF to fit, but that just means it won't fall out anytime soon. Now let's hang it on the wall! I'm just hanging it on the wall I use as a backdrop, hoping to fill most of that space with our creations as the time goes by. It was a bit tricky to hit the hole, but I finally made it fit, and it looks great! 
In retrospect, I would have used fewer LED diodes inside the frame because fitting it all around made it way too bright. This strip was 60 LEDs per meter, so maybe a 30 per meter would be better or just a total of 10 diodes inside the whole frame would be more than enough because as it is, it doesn't really resemble daylight. It is a bit too bright. If I were to try more painting methods, I think I would have tried using clear glue with color pigment. I think that would resemble stained glass more by being more transparent than the acrylic, but also stick better than the watercolors. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it, although I do prefer the look of it without the lights on. Stay tuned for the next project video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.